Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sachinandan Dotto from Eco Learning, so learning from home. So today I will discuss about uh, the desert ecosystem. So at first we have to know that what is desert. So a desert is a landscape form or a region that receives very little precipitation. So that is less than 250 millimeter per annum. So we can call a landscape or a region a, a desert which have a very little precipitation that is annual rainfall or annual precipitation rate is less than 250 millimeter. So there are a few facts about uh, the desert. So desert is almost it cover around the one fifth of the earth land surface. Most of the desert are composed of sandy and rocky. Later we'll see the few rocky and sandy surface of the desert. And uh, desert known is uh, two types in general. They are the cold desert and the hot desert. So cold desert is uh, almost fully covered with ice and almost there will be no vegetation. So vegetation means there will be only the briophyte, edophyte and mosses. Okay, so temperature ranges in the hot desert is varies from 0 degree to 50 degree. So there is a huge fluctuation of variation of temperature during a single day. At the night time, the temperature goes to around 5, 0 to 5 degree centigrade. And the daytime, the temperature rises almost around to 50 degree centigrade. And these have a very high biological diversity and there are very interesting plants and animals found in the desert ecosystem and few are them also endemic to the desert ecosystem and also the important thing is the adaptation so it's an uh, the animal belongs to the desert ecosystem they have a morphological or an anatomical modification or morphological and anatomical adaptation to the desert ecosystem to reduce their evaporation loss of the body because the desert have a very little precipitation and very scarcity of the water so in this hostile condition to stay they have to adapt it according to the environment so here the question is the how the desert get formed okay so that question we have to answer this question how the desert get formed we have to understand the what is the water budget so water budget is the rate of precipitation minus potential evaporation okay my plus or minus the amount of surface storage of the water okay so main thing is the evaporation rate okay and precipitation so if your precipitation or the potential evaporation is exit enormously from the precipitation then a dry condition prevails and if this condition consistently stand by then is the desert get formed okay so that is the thing that how the desert get formed now the type of desert i have already told that there are two types of desert basically they are the hot desert and cold desert so hot desert first of all we'll discuss about the hot desert so hot desert formed of the argies Urgs means the sand dunes that reach height up to 300 meters so these are the Urgs, the sand dunes almost they have the all the hot desert or sand dune desert like sahara is also sand dune desert there is a huge uh, of uh, sand dunes and they almost uh, altitude of the sand, um, sand dune almost 300 meter and the regis regis are uh, the mixer of sand and gravel you can see the regis are here the mixer of the sand and gravels okay and uh, in the hot desert the very scarcity of the water okay uh, and the temperature is very high during the daytime and low at the night time as i already told about it okay and the vegetation known is the xerophyte have very modification so physiological and chemical and their uh, biological modification to store the water okay so that's the main thing to minimize the evaporation rate huh? and the wax covered thorny leaves so the their uh, leaves are the wax cover to uh, same the reduce the rate of evaporation and root are very long to reach the water table so because the water table in the desert ecosystem is very uh, below uh, the ground huh. so animals such as reptile huge reptile species lots of lizard and lots of snake species are we found in the desert ecosystem rodent wolves huh. and they also hide themselves in the daytime because at daytime their the temperature rises around the 50 degrees centigrade almost and the very hot uh, condition they cannot uh, come or maybe activate so they are activated at the night so they call the nocturnal animal so they are basically the, all the desert animal are nocturnally inhabited inhabit and example of the uh, hot desert are the Sahara, Kalahari, Thor in India, okay, Thor in India, okay, so this is about the hot desert.
now we have discussed about the cold desert so cold desert commonly known as the tundra okay so land is covered by thick layer of ice you can see the land is covered with a thick layer of ice okay and whether the fall remain frozen and almost it's remain frozen frozen okay vegetation is very little on the surface very little vegetation and in terms of vegetation the bryophyte teredophyte and the mosses and the algae and some plants will be found in thorny plants the leaves are covered with the wax same the thing all the common uh, adaptation of all kind of desert uh, plant animal have a very thick fat layer so this is specific to only to cold desert fat, uh, fat layer under the skin that is called almost uh, it called lower kind of thing and have a uh, far coating above it like example you can see the uh, polar bear okay an example of the cold desert atacama gobi taklamakan okay so now if we uh, see that uh, except these two general kind of desert the hot desert and cold desert they are also widely uh, classify the desert into the five the world uh, uh, all the desert are classified in the five categories one is the subtropical desert one is the australian desert is a separate and the coastal desert and cold desert and polar desert so there are two coastal desert on the in world that is atacama in the chile coast and one is the nababi nambia in the south uh, western part of the africa hmm. and australian desert we have uh, the simpson desert we have gibson great sandy so these are the few australian desert and subtropical desert world largest desert that is the sahara then arabian desert thar desert okay so the sonoran desert uh, these are the subtropical desert. cold desert cold desert is the gobi taklamakan and uh, great basin uh, colorado plateau these are the, all the cold desert polar desert arctic and antarctic okay so this is the uh, global distribution of the different five different types of the now uh, we have discussed the desert food hive. It is very important uh, to understand the desert food hive. So because the desert have a very uh, unique type of ecosystem and unique type of environment. So different types of organism are found here. Here the main producer are the cactus type of plant. Okay. And uh, there will be also detritus, lots of microbes, lots of uh, desert bacteria, the sand bacteria there as act as a decomposer so main producer is the desert plant that is the cactus and they are eaten by the kangaroo rat kangaroo mice small lizard and insects and this insect is eaten by the scorpion small lizard lord lizard and kangaroo rat is a uh, prey of snake uh, desert fox hawk okay and uh, snake is also eaten by the hawk and the desert fox so in a desert ecosystem the top predator is uh, hawks and the desert fox if we look at the cold desert life, so I'm not uh, drawing uh, the food web of the cold desert, but uh, here according to tropic level, I have uh, placed them. So uh, here uh, in the cold desert, main producer is the bryophyte, algae and the lichen, okay, teredophyte also. And from the lichen, bryophyte, algae is eaten by the reindeer, arctic hare, kangaroo rat. They are eaten by uh, this type of animal and kangaroo rat is uh, prey of uh, snow owl hmm, verger and arctic hare is also eaten by the snow owl fox verger and reindeer is eaten by the polar deer and coyote so and uh, so in the cold desert the top uh, i mean top level of uh, tropic level in the top that's a polar bear and the coyotes hmm. Now the thought desert, it's special because we India have a thought desert. So in terms of India, it is the only desert found in the western part of India in Rajasthan and Gujarat. So it is also the third largest desert in the world. It's the most populous desert because within the thought desert in and outside, there are lots of population uh, are residing in the thought desert inside or outside. And it's spread uh, over the four state in india to in pakistan annual rainfall range uh, between the 100 to 500 millimeter only the river that is ghagar it's uh, flowing uh, in between the thaw desert and there will be a lots of shrub and grass like uh, babul khejra uh, trees like found in the thaw desert and many reptiles and snake also endemic to the thaw desert now talk about the importance of the desert so in general everybody think that uh, desert is a non-arable 
so there will be no importance of the desert desert means it's an wasteland it's an barren land but the idea about uh, the desert that it's a wasteland or barren land it's not true so let's discuss about the how the desert is important to the ecological point of view economical point of view and social point of view so it's a home for different varieties of plants and animals view uh, lots of important types of plants and animals residing in the desert ecosystem and few of them also endemic okay and top soil of the desert is very fertile but susceptible to erosion so it can be saved by the afforestation so if you plant uh, in uh, plantation a lot in the uh, desert ecosystem or if you try to uh, do some agricultural practice in the desert it could be it could be uh, in, because the fertile uh, soil top soil is a very fertile in desert okay and uh, most important thing the desert is the source of the huge mineral uh, it's the source of the silica gypsum right and very commonly found in the all kind of deserts okay you know basically in hot desert Desert. and desert sands are an important carbon sink on the earth okay so lots of bacteria living in the desert sand they help to uh, store or sink the carbon from the atmosphere to the desert soil so he is a it's a great important to the human point of view to the ecological point of view also now discuss about the threat of the desert ecosystem so nowadays desert have a huge threats huh? so desert is also just an important ecosystem uh, a type of ecosystem okay so uh, rather than other ecosystem it is also one type of important ecosystem and there are many threats that could damage the current standing of the deserts so first of all the first threat is the global warming so global warming or the climate change that is the common threat to all the ecosystem nowadays it increases due to the increasing temperature of the earth surface it increases the chances of the drought it so it's the area of the desert so if the area was desert earlier here but it can be desert area increasing so the lots of land are close to the desert due to the uh, water budget if you see the water budget rate of evaporation is much more than precipitation then the land is converted into desert so desert is increasing nowadays and it uh, mineral oil and gas production also disrupt the sensitive habitat so in terms of economy we are hampering the ecology okay and nuclear waste is also dumping in the desert ecosystem and lots of country are tested their nuclear bomb in the desert ground so it's a huge hamper in the desert ecosystem okay and off-road vehicles so lots of uh, roads uh, are in between the world uh, famous desert and uh, so due to this road at uh, the traffic of uh, vehicles is caused to disrupt the damage of the desert habitat okay so these are the trait of the desert ecosystem so thank you this all about the desert ecosystem I uh, hope you listen to this uh, topic. So thank you. Please uh, like, share and subscribe our channel. And uh, bell icon ko dabane ke nahi bule. So for further uh, getting message or uh, new video from our channel, please press on the bell icon. Thank you.